Well, hi, gang. Hey, uh, we're going to explore uh, intro to multi-view, or what we call three-view drawings today, and show you how we're going to kind of change gears. So up until this point, what you have done in class has been all 3D drawings, and that is when we take an object and we draw it three-dimensional. So it's one picture that shows how tall something is, how wide something is, and how deep something is. We're going to change gears a little bit, and we're going to now draw three pictures, each shown one dimension. It'll show how tall it is, how wide it is, how deep it is, all those good things, but it's going to be three separate pictures all on one piece of paper, okay? So, again, here's our H. Let's jump into a kind of a fun activity um, that I usually do in person, but we're going to do it um, uh, do it online this time. So, we're going to start out with a 3D piece of paper, and this is just a piece of notebook paper that I folded in half, um, so you should grab a piece of notebook paper out of your binder. It doesn't matter if it has little rings on one side or anything. It makes zero difference. We're just going to do a little sketch in here. And on one side it says 3D, and on the back it says 3 view. And I did that with a pen so you could see it. I'm using a wooden pencil. Hopefully that will show up better than a mechanical pencil for this activity. And I'm going to show you how to draw some stuff. So, the first thing we're going to draw is I have my letter H here. Uh, and it has a number 9 written on it. Or a 6. I don't know what that's there for. Anyway, this is the H. And it looks familiar because we drafted this as our starting activity. And it's actually the exact sizes and all that good stuff. I'm going to set that right here. And I'm going to sketch for you. Uh, I'm going to sketch real quick a copy of that. So I'm going to come in here. And the way I always sketch stuff is I always draw the front of it first. Okay. So what I mean by the front is if I walked straight up to it, what would I see? Looking straight at the front of it. And again, this is a sketch. Wow, look how big these legs and how short those are. It's definitely a sketch. Not very good, is it? All right, so that's the front of my H. Uh, and so when I ever make anything 3D, I always draw the front first. And then I come back with all these diagonal lines that are all the exact same angle. And I draw one from every corner of my object except for the ones that would go across the front surface. Okay? And then I'm going to connect those. And I always say if the front goes up, the back goes up. If the front goes across the back goes across, okay? They parallel each other. And then right here, this is going to parallel this, and this is going to parallel that, and this is going to parallel that. So there is my 3DH. Wow, that really is bad. But you get the idea. This one drawing shows how tall something is. It shows how wide something is, and it shows how deep something is, okay? All in one simple little sketch. That is a 3D sketch. I'm going to flip this over, and we're going to change gears now, and I'm going to draw something 3 view. And what that means is I'm going to draw the front view, and then I'm going to draw the top view, and then I'm going to draw the end view. So this is obviously the front view. The top view is if I was in a helicopter and I flew up here and I looked straight down what I'd see. And what you'd see is something that looks, if I can orient this, just like that. And then... If I walked around to the side or the end and looked, what I would see is something that looks just like that, okay? Now, this is pretty easy because I can actually grab this object, pick it up, and rotate it and see what it looks like. Not always so easy um, when you have to do this without being able to touch the object. So, again, I'm going to draw the front of my H. Oops. I'm going to draw the front of my H, and I'm going to start down a little lower here. So I have my front of my H. I'm trying to make this look a little better. I don't know that it will. It's been a long day. It's the end of the day. My seventh graders just left. So that's the front of my H, and I'm going to write on there front. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, we're going to imagine we're in a helicopter. We fly up here, and we're going to look straight down. And what we're going to see is we're going to see three boxes. And those three boxes look something like that. And what you're seeing is the top of this box is that one here. And the top of this box is that one here. And the top of this, well, that's actually down in here. Okay. And what you don't notice when you look across here is you can't tell that that box is farther down than the others. Correct? So when we do three view things, there's things that are easier to understand and things that are more difficult this is a tough one because you're like, wait, when I see the sides of this going down, and the rule is if you're looking perfectly straight at it, you would not. 
The other thing is when we draft, there's no shading, there's no shadowing, and that's what allows you to see these sides is when we shade things and shadow things, so you wouldn't. So let's now walk around to the end of our H, and we're going to look straight this way. And what we're going to see if we walk over there is we're going to see a rectangle that's as tall as the front view. It's as wide as the top view, and it looks just like that. Now, there are a couple things that I have uh, forgot to tell you, and one of them is, see how this is connecting something else? So that you have a hint that something is going on, we're going to put some dotted lines here, and those are called hidden lines. And those hidden lines just show you that inside of this H, there's something happening uh, past that initial edge of the side view. The other thing is, see this little space here? Do you want to guess how big a space that's supposed to be on your draft? You're right. That's going to be a half inch. And the reason that sounds familiar is don't forget your border is a half inch, your nameplate's a half inch, your lucky L is a half inch, and now your spacing for your three views, it's going to be a half inch as well. Also, from here to here is going to be a half inch. So this is a three view sketch of my H. Okay. Hey, let's do one together uh, and let's see how it turns out. So I'm going to give you a hard one here. You want to, let's do something hard. Oh, I got this box of Kleenex. Never had a Kleenex pulled out of it. So I'm going to grab this box. I'm going to pull one Kleenex. Oh, I'm going to pull three Kleenex out of there. All right. So I pulled out a bunch of Kleenex. I'm going to have you draw. I'm going to put this Kleenex so it's sitting just like that. Okay. And let me turn this so the camera can see what my Kleenex box looks like. So my Kleenex box looks just like that. Okay. So on this piece of paper that says three view, or 3D, I want you to sketch for me what that box looks like. And I also want you to add the Kleenex coming out of the top. I'll make this a little easier. I'll tuck that back for you, okay? So take just a minute and sketch out for me the tissue box with the tissue sticking out of the top. Go ahead and hit pause, take your time sketching this, and restart the video when you get to, uh, when you are complete drawing a 3D version of this tissue box. All right, well, let me show you how I did it. So I'm gonna start with the box portion here. This portion right here uh, is the front. So I am gonna draw the front portion first. Okay, and so that's the front of my box. Now, I'm a little different than most people. I'm not much of an artiste, so I'm gonna draw the box completely first. So that means I'm gonna go diagonally, 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 and then I'm gonna connect those. Okay, and so now I have a 3D box. Now, if you're a really good artist, you can just draw the opening and the napkin all in one. I am not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the oval that the napkins come out of first, okay? Because that's the way my brain works. And then I'm gonna draw the napkin that comes out of there. Now, when I draw that napkin, you know what it's gonna cover up? It's gonna cover up this back edge of this box. And like I said, if you're an artist, you never have to erase this stuff, but I am not. And it also covered the back of the hole that it came out of. So this went whoop, and this one went whoop. Okay. And then I'm going to put just a couple creases in this so it looks like folds. And there is my 3D version of my napkin hole, or of my tissue box. So that's what I drew. That's what it is. That's pretty close. It's not perfect, but it's a pretty good sketch. All right, let's flip it over. Now, I want you to take your time and sketch the front of our tissue box, the top of our tissue box, and the end of our tissue box. And I know you're going to have to take some time on this, so stop the video uh, and sketch those out. You're going to have to draw it a little smaller so it all fits, but take your time. All right, well, let's see what you came up with. Here's what I got. Uh, I have the front of my tissue box. And again, I'm drawing it smaller this time. And I can see the napkin sticking out of the top of that tissue box. I'm going to go up here a half inch above the highest point here. And I can see the top of the tissue box, which looks like this. And there was an oval here. And then there's a tissue 
that hangs out of the top of it. Now that one's really confusing because it kind of looks like a hot dog on a string, but that is actually the oval at the top of the box, and that is the top of the uh, tissue. And it kind of looks like that. It, oh, that's not very good. Um, but you kind of get the idea what I was going for there. Okay. Now we're going to walk down here on the end and we're going to draw. And again, the box is still going to be the same height, right? And this distance that I'm going across here, this distance here is the same as this distance here. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. And then uh, this way, I'm going to see just the edge of a tissue. Okay. And so this is my front view. This is my top view. This is my end view. Reminder, there's a half inch in here. There's a half inch space there. And the other thing you need to know is these are lined up. So when I grade them on your drafts, I'm going to make sure that the top view and the front view are lined up on the lucky L, which means these two sides should line up perfectly. Look, my top view actually got a little big, didn't it? But on a draft, they should line up perfectly. And then the same thing... When I come across the bottom of my Lucky L, the top of my box, and the top of my tissues should all line up, okay? They need to sit in the correct place or they have a different meaning. And you can't just randomly put them with where you want. Front view is always going to go in the corner of the Lucky L. The top view is always going to go directly above it. And in this class, we are always going to write, we're always going to draw the right-hand side of your object, okay? When you get to other objects, you can try something a little fancier. All right, last one. Let's see what you got here. You ready? Hey, roll of tape. So I'm going to ask you to take a minute. You might want to stop the video. And you're going to draw me this roll of tape 3D, okay? All right. So here's what I came up with when I just, I kind of tip my paper. It's easier for me to draw. I guess I could tip the camera, but. I don't know. I guess I never thought about that. Uh, all right. So my roll of tape, um, I'm going to draw the inside of the roll of tape. And I'm going to draw the outside of the roll of tape. And then to make it 3D, I'm going to come in here at my same 45-degree angle, and I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to do the same thing opposite side over here. And that's going to allow me to draw this 3D. Okay, so that's going to come around like that. And this actually should have just kind of swerved right like that. And if I can see the outside of the tape on this side, opposite of it, so I'm going to go opposite of it, I'm going to see the inside of the roll of tape on that side. Okay, and that now shows me how tall, how wide, and how long a roll of tape is. Okay, and that's my 3D roll of tape. Flip it over. I'm going to have you take just a minute and have you draw the roll of tape three view. You're going to have to shrink it down quite a bit uh, to get the 3D three view portion of it. All right. Now let's draw it. Let's uh, sketch up our 3D version of our uh, tape. So again, we're going to see the outside of the roll. We're going to see the inside of the roll. Okay. Now that's pretty straightforward, right? And that's, I'm going to just write on their front. So that reminds you. And then directly above it, draw your top view. And then over here, do your end view. Okay. So let me draw this out for you. Uh, this is going to be just a rectangle. That's all. And the side view is going to be just a rectangle. Same exact thing. Doesn't change at all. Okay, now we're going to put a couple dotted lines in here, and that's going to show that it's hollow. We're going to put a couple dotted lines there, and voila. How many of you, for your side or top view, drew it like this? A lot of kids do that for their side and their top view, and the reason they do that is they know that it's round, and their brain is convincing them, I know it's round, it can't be a rectangle. But when you look at this, even in the camera, where there is some shading and some light, when you look at this straight on, it looks like a rectangle, doesn't it? Now, the reason your brain knows that it's round is you can start to see a little bit of shadow being cast on these far edges. But when you look at it again, looks pretty rectangular to me. Looks pretty rectangular to me, right? Like that, okay? So that is our front view, our top view, and our end view, okay?
And again, half inch space, half inch space, the lucky L, the lucky L sits right there, okay? All right, hey, next video, let's sit down together and draft the H3 view.